Welcome to Sessions Health Tutorials. Hello, fellow therapists. I'm Ian, a practicing psychotherapist, and I use Sessions Health each day in my own private practice. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to give a good faith estimate to your clients who are not using insurance using Sessions Health. The first place we want to come to is Forms and Documents. And then we want to click on system forms. Under screening and assessment, you'll find a good faith estimate. And you're going to want to click add to add this to your account. Once you've added it, you're going to come over to your forms and go to forms and assessments. And you're going to need to do a little bit of customization for the good faith estimate. The first place you're going to want to change is under this first paragraph, you're going to want to replace these sections with your own clinic information. Fill all this in and press save. Now you have your own good faith estimate form to send to your clients. Now, why I send it as an assessment? Well, this, this is a very unusual intake form and in the sense that the, the client isn't filling out the information. You're going to need to fill out the information such as how much you charge for a 90791, how much you charge for whatever CPT code that, that you're going to be billing your client, put in your cost per unit and the expected cost. So you're going to fill all this out and then share this assessment with the client with everything pre-filled. That's going to allow them to then electronically sign it once they've seen that. So that's why sending it as an assessment doesn't make logical sense, but functionally, that is the way that you'll have to do the good faith estimate. You also might want to customize some other sections, such as if you're not doing a 90834 or a 90037, you can change this to whatever CPT codes that you need to have in place for this particular client. So you can save that. You can make different versions of this form. So if you want to have a good faith estimate for 90837s, you could even change the title just so that you can easily see which is which. And now when you go back to forms and documents, you can see we have multiple versions here. So we can even change um, the title of this one. So maybe this is if we're typically doing a 45 minute session with someone, we can have a different version of our good faith estimate. And we can set it up to um, do that particular CPT code. So we might need a couple of these in our assessments just to cover our basis. So now we're going to move on to actually administering the assessment and then see what the client would see when they get it in the client portal. Okay, and so now we have a couple of our customized good faith estimates created. To give it to a client, we just go to the client detail screen and then assessments and then start an assessment. We can click whichever form we want to use and now that will be displayed above and draft form. So we can see here's our good faith estimate. All of this will have been replaced in your form to match your clinic information. We're going to put client name. I'm going to put their date of birth. All this language, this form is from the APA and it's based upon CMS recommendations we've just recreated in here. If you don't like any of these labels, you can also customize it 
you would rather use client instead of patient, feel free to change that. Date of estimate. And now this language again is all straight from the CMS recommended template. For the initial evaluation, we can put one. We can put $200 for the cost per unit. So initial evaluation would be $200. Let's say we're going to meet with this client for six months. Maybe we're going to see them 20 times. For easy math, I'm going to put $100 per session. And so the total cost for the other sessions is $2,000. We add up the cost for each CPT code, and we put the total. And this language is all from the APA's template that they recommend that comes from CMS. We activate this so that the clients cannot change the information because once it's been activated, these become uneditable. And then we share it with our clients saying, please sign your good faith estimate. So now I'm logged in as a client in the client portal and they will have received a notice that they have a new assessment and you obviously explain to them that this good faith estimate is part of the No Surprises Act and they'll be able to click on it. And again, you will have changed all this to match your information. They will be able to see all this information. They'll be able to see everything that you filled out on the assessment side and then all the total costs and then this additional information. Now they can sign and accept the document, sign and complete. They can also download the document if they wish to download the document. Um, that's also possible. So that concludes the tutorial on creating a good faith estimate and sending it to your clients as an assessment. If you have any additional questions, you can always reach us at support at sessionself.com.